Wait, 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 wait. Did did Flowey just give me a second chance to sort everything out? But I couldn't find Dr. Alphys. Not that way. But I couldn't find Dr. Alphys. He sent us back before the end of the fight. Is she going to be there? Seems me and Dr. Alphys could have been better friends. Yes, I understand that. So if I go to her lab now, is Alphys going to be there? Please, I swear to God, do not get my hopes up like this. You absolutely cannot fuck with me like this, I swear. I've just spent the better half of an hour or so depressed as hell because I thought I've ruined this game. Do not tell me that I can actually rectify this. Sorry dude, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna run. I'm sprinting straight to Alphys. Not a chance am I gonna let that go. There's you cannot do that to me, Flower. You cannot say, hey, there's a chance for you to get a better ending if you go talk to Alphys. She wasn't there for me. If I can it... Right, so there is her front door which is through the main lab, we'll try that. If not, I'm going to try the back door, see if that works. I probably got to just took that elevator. Oh, hey, um, this is Undyne. Shut up, Pyrus, this was your idea. Human, you have to deliver something for me. Uh, please? I might have stolen in front of Papyruses. See ya, punk. Can we actually get the... Oh, game, you cannot be doing this to me right now. I am not emotionally prepared. I, I thought I ruined this save file. You cannot actually do this to me. Did... No, 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 you can't do this. Oh, the, I don't. I don't even know how to um how to comment. Snowden. I. <laughs> so. I thought I messed up. I thought because of Metaton, there was no way to continue. Because it even said, like, you needed 12,000 viewers to do that. But this is changing the save? Like, this is letting me have the do-over, what I needed. Um, so I have a favour to ask. I need you to deliver this letter to Dr. Alphys. Why don't I do it myself? Um, well, it's kind of personal, but we're friends, so... I'll tell you, Hotland sucks. I don't want to have to go over there. So here you go. I got Undyne's letter. Oh, and if you read it, I'll kill you. Thanks so much, you're the best. You have no idea, like, the emotions I'm feeling right now. I don't know how to express it properly because... Well, you heard me, not even, not even that long ago, it, even just through the last episode, I felt horrible. Toby, I, I can genuinely see why people love this game. Now, that is some 
bullshit emotional manipulation on me right now. This is not fair. You slide the letter under the door and give it a knock. Oh no, is that another letter? I don't want to open it. Can't I just slide it back out? No, I can't keep doing this. I'll read this one. Um, it shook kind of strongly, isn't it? Wait a second. Hey, is this a joke? It's... Oh my god. Did you write this letter? It wasn't signed, so I had no idea who could have... Oh my god. Oh no. That's adorable. And I had no idea you um, wrote that way. It's surprisingly too, after all the gross stuff I did. I don't really deserve to be forgiven, much less um, this. And so passionately too. You know, okay, I'll do it. It's the least I can do to make it up to you. Yeah, let's go on a date. Um. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm just as confused. Oh, sorry, still getting dressed. Aww, how do I look? My friend helped me pick out this dress. She's got a great sense of... Anyway, let's do this thing. Dun, dun, dun. Hey, wait! Actually, we still can't start the date yet. Dating stop? Um, I've got to give you items to raise your affection statistic first. But I'll increase this. <laughs> This ain't a date in Sim. Oh, is it? Anyway, don't worry, I'm prepared. I've been stockpiling gifts in anticipation for a date like this. First, I've got metal armor polish. I don't wear armor. Um, maybe you can't use that. But, I also bought some waterproof cream for your scales. But I'm not a fish. You are... Scales are, well... How about this magical spear repair kit that I, um, hey, let's forget about the items. Let's just start the date. Yeah, let's, uh, date. Alphys, you kind of already know who you want to be with. It's not me. Um, do you like anime? She's one of us. Yes. Hey, me too. Hey, let's go somewhere. But where's a good place to go on a date? I've got it. Let's go to the garbage dump. <laughs> here we are. This is where Undyne and I come all the time. We find all sorts of great stuff here. <laughs> She's really... Uh... Oh no, that's her over there. I can't let her see me on a date with you. Why? Because, uh, well... Oh no, here she comes. Hey, there you are. I, uh, realised if you deliver that thing, it might be a bad idea. So I'm gonna do it. Give it to me. Huh? You don't have it. Ah! Have you at least seen her? I already know that these two are supposed to be together, so yeah. Yes? So she's somewhere around here? Thanks, I'll keep looking. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Well, I guess it's obvious, huh? I, uh, I really like her. I mean, more than I like other people. I'm sorry. I just figured, you know, it'd be fun to go on, like, a cute kind of pretend date with you to make you feel better? Well... Sounds even worse when I put it like that. I'm sorry, I messed up again. Undyne's the person I um, really want to go on a date with, but I mean, she's way out of my league. Not like you are, um, cool, but Undyne, she's so confident, strong, funny, and I'm just a nobody. A fraud. I am the royal scientist, but all I've ever done is hurt people. I've told so many lies, she thinks I'm... She thinks I'm a lot cooler than I actually am. If she gets close to me, she'll... She'll find out the truth about me. What should I do? Tell her the truth. 
the truth. But if I tell her that, she'll hate me. Isn't it better this way? To live a lie where both people are happy? Our truth where neither of us are. They say be yourself. But I don't really like who myself is. I'd rather just be whatever people... Whatever makes people like me. <laughs> no. You're right. Every day I'm scared. Scared what will happen if people learn the truth on their own. They'll all get hurt because of me. But how can I tell them dying the truth? I don't have the confidence. I'm going to mess it up. How can I practice? Obviously, that's roleplay. Roleplay? That actually sounds kind of fun. <laughs> Which one will be undying? <laughs> you. <laughs> Me. <laughs> yes. I'll be you. You can be undying. Uh, uh, okay. I'll say what I think she'd say and you, um, you show me what I'm supposed to do. <clears throat> yeah. Hey, Alfish, you look cute today. Which I say often, but platonically, because I would never like you. Yo, you're one hot baby. <laughs> I can't, I can't ruin it, Father. I, I really can't. <laughs> I, as much as I would love to do that, I, I can't. Hi Undyne, can we talk? Talk? To you? Hmm, I guess so. I often seem excited to listen to you for some reason. I will make intent eye contact with you what, so you sweat while you talk. So, what is it? Let's tell Undyne the truth. What? So you've been lying to me the whole time? Alphys, I can't believe you. You're you worthless slime. How could you betray our friendship? After how much I trusted you. Alphys, I'll never love <laughs> Never will you feel my passion and embrace. I, Undyne, will never kiss you with my beautiful lips. What did you just say? <laughs> Undyne, I, I was just... Hey, whoa, wait a second. Yo, Alphys, really cute. What's the occasion? Wait a second, are you two on a date? Uh, yes. I mean, no. I mean, we were, but I mean, actually we were only romantically full playing as you. What? <laughs> I mean, I mean, Undyne, I, I've been lying to you. What? <laughs> About what? About, well, everything. I told you that... Seaweed was like scientifically important. Really, I just use it to make ice cream. And those history books are just darky comic books. And history movies, those, those are just uh, anime. They aren't real. And that time I told you I was busy with work on the phone, I was just eating frozen yogurt in pajamas. <laughs> I just wanted to impress you. I just wanted you to think I was smart and cool. That I w wasn't some nerdy loser. Alphys. I'm dying. I... I really think you're neat, okay? Alphys. Shh. Shh. Yoink. <laughs> My. And uh, she's gone. Nothing but net. Alphys. I think you're neat too, I guess. But you've got to realise, most of what you said really doesn't matter to me. I don't care if you're watching kid cartoons or reading history books. To me, all of that stuff is just nerdy crap. What I like about you is that you're passionate. You're analytical. It doesn't matter what it is, you care about it. 100% at maximum power. So, you don't have to lie to me. I don't want you to have to lie to anyone anymore. Alphys, I want to help you become happy with who you are. And I know just the training you need to do that. <laughs> oh look, she's the garbage can with like nine cute filters over it. She became what she said. Undyne, you... You're going to train me? Pfft, what? Me? <laughs> nah, I'm going to get Papyrus to do it. <laughs> get those bones a-shaking. It's time to jog 100 laps, hooting about how great we are. Ready? I'm about to start the timer. Undyne, I'll do my best. <laughs> oh my god. She was kidding, right? Those cartoons, those comics, those are still real, right? Anime is real, right? 
It's real to me! Ha ha ha, I knew it. Gigantic swords, magical princesses, here I come! Uh, thanks for taking care of Alphys. I didn't get to say what I wanted to, but things seem like they're going great, <laughs> going to get better for her. Well, I gotta catch up with them. Later! Hey! You left me behind! Hey! Where you all at? <laughs> you can't just leave me here! Hello? People? Any more astronaut food? No. DVD case? <laughs> oh, here we go. Howdy! If it isn't my good friend who trusts me, this is Papyrus, your also mutual friend. Alphys and I finished our training early. Very early. So I sent her home. Very home. Uh, now, I feel strongly, and for no apparent reason, you should also go there, to her lab, house. I have only good feelings about this. Goodbye. <laughs> you left me in the dump by myself. How could you? Care for a ride, riding the boat to the hotland, and we're off. <laughs> Poor and dying, imagine being told that anime is not real. It's real to me. Look, I'm gonna be honest with you right now. There's a genre of anime I am stuck on, manga mostly, and it's farming. Izakais of all things <laughs> or cooking Izakais. So it's it's genuinely like I've been transported to another world but my only skill is farming. And I don't know why, but they're so addictive because it's just like, oh, he can only farm. Suddenly he's able to take on God with a hoe. <laughs> like they're just so much fun. I think um, one which I'm reading is farming in another world. And the dude just genuinely does that. He just farms and has fun. Right, now where are you? Oh, there's a note. It's a note from Alphys. Read it. Read. It's hard to read because of the hand handwriting, but you try your best. Hey, thanks for your help, Buckler. You guys, your support really means a lot to me. But as difficult as it is to say this... You guys alone can't magically make my own problems go away. I want to be a better person. I don't want to be afraid anymore. And for that to happen, I have to be able to face my own mistakes. I'm going to start doing that now. I want to be clear. This isn't anyone else's problem but mine. But if you don't ever hear from me again, I want you to know the truth. Enter the door to the north. You all at least deserve to know what I did. Look, you are giving me really mixed signals now. Oh. <coughs> Great, now I'm gonna die. You cannot have Flowey send me to the past to try and make up with Alphys to sort it out and then tell me she's leaving. You cannot be doing this to me. This is... 20 shades of messed up on my emotions. This is it. Time to do what the king asked me to do. I will create power to free us all. I will unleash the power of the soul. The barrier is locked by soul power. Unfortunately, this power cannot be recreated artificially. It can only be derived from what was once living. So to create more, we will have to use what we have now. The souls of monsters. Oh god. Extracting a soul from a living monster will require incredible power. Besides being impractical, doing so would instantly destroy the soul's host. And, unlike the persistent soul of humans, the souls of most monsters disappear immediately upon death. If only I could make a monster's soul last. I've done it. Using the blueprints, I've extracted it from human souls. I believe this is what gives their souls the strength to persist after death. 
the will to keep li living, the resolve to change fate. We will call this power determination. Ooh. So that means that every time I saved and I was filled with determination, that was actually my soul doing something. Oh. Another new area. Buy chips? Yeah, sure. Fake plant. <laughs> well, to the left now, y'all. Asgore asked everyone outside the city for monsters that had fallen down. Their bodies came in today. They're still comatose, and soon they'll all turn into dust. But what happens if I inject determination into them? If their souls persist after they perish, then freedom might be closer than we all thought. Things aren't going well. None of the bodies have turned into dust, so I can't get the souls. I told the families that I would give them the dust back for the funerals. People are starting to ask me what's happening. What do I do? You turn on the sink. Turn on the sink. Turn on the sink. Um. Hi? Oh. Hi. It drew near. Cell. You take out your cell phone. You can hear voices through the receiver. Come join the fun. Oh, wow. No. Nobody came. Memory head A. Join. You'll be with us shortly. Become one of us. Ow. Nobody came. Refuse. That's a shame. Oh, done. It's fair. There's a red key lying in the sink. You took it and put it on your keychain. There's a note, but you can't make it out. Drain dropped it. That's all you could read. The red key fits perfectly into the slot. Oh, oops. <laughs> so my natural curiosity just... Ew. It's sticky. What have you been doing on the table? Alphys, who have you had down here? What experiments have you been up to? How am I doing on, um, finger? Right. Oh, wait, yeah. No, 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 no. Dimensional box. Put away the butterscotch pie. Power room. There's a note. Elevator, power, enter the centre door. That's all you could read. Entry number 12. Nothing is happening. I don't know what to do. I'll just keep injecting everything with determination. I want this to work. One of the bodies opened its eyes. Dog bowl. Seems like a comfortable bed. Yeah, sure, why not? Oh. <laughs> well, I did nothing. It's a bed. It's another bed. There's something under the sheets. Sure, why not? It's a yellow key. It's a bed. It's a bed. See, years of Pokemon red, blue, gold, silver, crystal, and so on and so on, literally made me do this. It's a bed. Everyone that's fallen down has woken up. They're all walking and talking like nothing is wrong. I thought they were goners. So what we have to do now is collect four keys, red, yellow, blue and green, I think. Oh, hello. Entry number seven. We'll need a vessel to wield the monster's souls when the time comes. After all, a monster cannot absorb the soul of other monsters, just as a human cannot absorb a human soul. So then, what about something that's neither human nor monster? Oh, are they talking about, um, Flowey? Because I remember saying I thought Flowey was Azriel, but with how evil he became and tried killing me and then sent us back in time, I'm not so sure anymore. Experiments on the vessel are a failure. 
It doesn't seem to be any different from the control cases. Whatever. They're a hassle to work with anyway. The seeds just stick to you and won't let go. So Alphys made flowy then. Oh. <laughs> My exclamation point became a monster. That's pretty fun. Oh, what the... High heaven are you. Um... Mystify. It recognises it as more to learn from this world. I can't read that. Oh god. Oh god. Um, check. Something, something, something way. <laughs> Don't pick on me. Okay, okay. I, I read that. That was bad, but I read it. So, act. Clean. You wash your hands, nothing happened. Oh. Okay. Hi. Oh, God. Oh, I'm dodging it. Um, pick on. You pick on, it seemed effective. Okay. No. No. No, you weird butterfly creature thing. Ow. Pick on you again. It was already picked on. This music's creepy, man. Right. Then hum. You hum a familiar tune, but no one heard you. Oh god, the butterflies! Not the butterflies! Wah! Ow! <laughs> Let's pray for you then. You kneel and play for safe there. Reaper bird seems to remember something. Someone finally gets it. Ribbit, ribbit, courage. Oh god, it's three different things! Reaper bird is three different things. Oh, that's not fun. That's blue. There's a note. You can't make it out. Cold. That's all you could read. Okay. So we have to find a fridge, freezer, something. Go left. Seems like the research was a dead end, but at least we got a happy ending out of it. I sent the souls back to Asgore, returned to his vessel to the garden. Returned the vessel to his garden, and he called all of the families and told them everyone's alive. I'll send everyone back tomorrow. Smiley face. Oh god, what did I do? <coughs> yes, yeah, see? No, 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 no. Keep going left, we don't need to go in there just yet. Maybe not go left. Maybe not go left. Maybe not. What am I walking in on? Why is it so hard to move? Pinky! It's an empty bathtub. Okay. At least we've got a green key now. So we will go right. <coughs> Pardon me. Entry number 11. Now that Metaton's made it big. He never talks to me anymore, except to ask when I'm going to finish his body. But I'm afraid if I finish it, he won't need me anymore. Then we'll never be friends ever again. Not to mention, every time I try to work on it, I just get really sweater. Ew. Oh, is this where the blue key is? Click. Yes. Oh no. Hi doggy. Ring it. It's the amalgamite. Pet. It's too far away to pet, so you just pet the air. Ah. Again, very creepy. Come here. Come here. Come here, boy. Come here, boy. Good boy. Good dog. Ow. Bad dog. Hey. Hey, you said you could leave the attack area, like, pet. Oh. It rests quietly on your lap for a moment. Aw. Suddenly, it shoots awake and crawls wildly on the walls. Again, what is this music? 
Um, play. You throw your weapon into the corner of the room. The Amalgamite brings it back to you proudly. You repeat this process a few times. Now Amalgamite is very tired. It's le it leans its tripping amorphous body on you. Good boy. Oh god. I can't escape this. I don't know how. Switching affectionately. Well, first I'm going to eat some food because you almost killed me. You're a good dog, but my god. You hurt. Ow. Let's pet it again. You pet the Amalgamite. It starts to generate a strange happiness froth. <coughs> Not again. Not again. Go, 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 go. Amalgamite's convulsions intensify. Pet it again. The, you pet decisively. The Amalgamite seems to be satisfied by all this. Ah. Oh, don't tell me that these were part of the Tem creatures and they turned it into that. Goodbye, little guy. You're a good dog. So we don't go that way. But do we have any other way to go? No, not at the moment. So I guess we go back to the left now. That's where we got the green key. <laughs> You're not a save point. <laughs> Smells like lemons. Um, hum, hum a familiar tune. The lemon bread's body shakes. Welcome to my special hell. Oh God. Ow. 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 Um, cry. You cried as loud as you can, but nobody came. Ow! Staffy! I don't want to stay here with you. Oi! Straight up cheating. Um, flex. Oh! I don't know what the top one is, but that's the, um... What is it? The Shyron and the Flex Dude AA one. Dodge, 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 please. Flex again. Nothing else appeared, okay. So yeah, you have to find out all three of its um, things. Let's scream. You scream, but nobody came. Okay, it wasn't that one then. God damn it. Here. Here. That is just straight up cheating that it just immediately hits me. Right. Unhug. You let lemon bread be, it seems to remember something. Ow. Damn it. Right. DT extraction machine, status inactive. Oh, determination extraction machine. Yellow key. Under the sheets. There's a VHS player with a few tapes picked up beside it. They seem to be labelled in a specific order. Tape 1. Psst! Gory, wake up. Hmm? What is it? Dear. Uh, why do you have that video camera? Shh! I want to get your reflection. Gory, dearest. What is my favourite vegetable? Hmm, carrots, right? No, no, no. My favourite vegetable is... I don't get that. Ed of money? Get it? No. Go back to bed, dear. No, no, not yet. Hee hee hee. Now, if I were a dog, what breed would I be? Hmm, I don't know. What kind of dog would you be? I would be... A mamatarian. Ho 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 ho. You're so excited to have this child. You know, if you keep making jokes like this, one day you could be... A famous mummedian. Well, I'm going to bed. Hey, come on, Tori. That one was funny. Haha, <laughs> I know. I'm just teasing you. Good night, dear. Good night, honey. 
Oh dear, perhaps it's too dark in here for the video to come out. Okay, tip two. Okay, Stubbs, are you ready? Do your creepy face. Ah, hehehe. <laughs> Wait, I had the lens cap on. What? You're not going to do it again? Come on, quit tricking me, haha. -ha. Wait, what? That said Stubbs. I've never done anything like that. Howdy, Stubbs. Smile for the camera. This time I got you, I left a cap on on purpose. Now you're smiling for no reason. Hee hee hee. What? Oh yeah, I remember. When we tried to make butterscotch pie for Dad, right? The recipe asked for cups of butter, but we accidentally put butter cups in instead. Yeah, those flowers got him really sick. I felt so bad. We made Mum really upset. I should have laughed it off like you did. Um, anyway, where were we? Where are you going with this? Huh? Turn off the camera? Okay. What the fuck? I've never been here before. I I don't like this idea, Stubbs. What? No, I'm not. Big kids don't cry. Yeah, you're right. No, I never doubt you, Stubbs, never. Yeah, we'll be strong. We'll free everyone. I'll go get the flowers. Stubbs, can you hear me? We want you to wake up. Yeah. Stubbs, you have to stay determined. You can't give up. You are the future of humans and monsters. Stubbs, please wake up. I don't like this plan anymore. I... No, I said I'd never doubt you. Six, right? We just have to get six. And we'll do it together, right? What the hell? I've been researching humans to see if I can find any info about their souls. I ended up snooping around the castle and found these weird tapes. I don't feel like Asgore's watched them. I don't think he should. Are they trying to say that I was the first child, I died, Asriel took me to the surface, and I somehow came back thanks to Alphys' meddling? But I can't be right, because if that happened, and I came back, why doesn't anyone remember me? Or if they do remember me, why do they hide it from me? The families keep calling me to ask where everyone is coming home. What am I supposed to say? I don't answer the phone anymore. So refrigerator. It's empty. It seems to gain samples of some kind. Asgore left me five messages today. Four about everyone being angry. What about this cute, cute teacup that you found? That looks like me. Thanks, Asgore. 21. I spend all my time at the garbage dump now. Spy element. It's a refrigerator that contains samples. It's empty. Oh. oh god. Let's make a joke. So the bad pun about snow, her expression starts to shift. Haha. <laughs> It's so cold. Let's laugh. You laugh and keep laughing. It's so funny you can't stop. Tears run down your face. What? You didn't do that? Let's make another joke. Haha, <laughs> thank you. This is just upsetting. Joke again. She's completely calmed down. You won. Found a blue key on the ground. Okay, I'll touch the weird one. Oh, never mind. It's just gonna shake about. Do we have the green key? Oh, we do. Nice. Dun 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 dun. What are they trying to say? That like, I'm the first child? Oh, not that way. Because I'm confused. Wait, we have... I don't think we've got all four keys. Maybe I missed something in the moon back... No. No, we do. I picked up the blue key. I believe the blue key goes this way. Is this trying to say I'm the first child, but 
Because I died, I lost my memories? Or something? Who am I? Like, who is th th this character? Because, what? I guess it'll be Stubbs, because I don't know their name. So, ooh, a clock. Never mind. So, this character, us, Stubbs, was the first child with Azriel, but that means that Azriel's got my soul, but Azriel died, so he no longer has a soul. I kind of want to get more chips. Just, wait, how much money do we have? 224. Yeah. Seems like another elevator has lost its power. It's turned off. Turned off. Down we go. And that's my hat. This controls the elevator's power. Turn it on. Yes. Hey, little guys. Big guys. Lots of guys. Hey, stop. I got you guys some food, okay? Sorry about that. They're, they're kind of sassy when they don't get fed on time. I think they smelled the potato chips you had and... Anyway. The power went out. I've been trying to turn it back on. But it seems like you were one step ahead of me. This was probably just a big inconvenience for you. But I appreciate that you came here to back me up. As I said. I was afraid I might... Not come back. But that's not because of these guys or anything. I was just worried I would be too afraid. To tell the truth. That I might run away. Oh. Cowardly. Uh, I... I suppose I owe you an explanation. As you probably know, Asgore asked me to study the nature of souls. During my research, I isolated a power I called Determination. I injected it into dying monsters so their souls would last after death. But the experiment failed. You see, unlike humans, monsters' bodies don't have enough physical matter to take these concentrations of Determination. Their bodies started to melt, and lost what physicality they had. Pretty soon, all of the test subjects had melted into lows. Seeing them like this, I knew. I couldn't tell their families about it. I couldn't tell anyone ab about it. No matter how much everyone was asking me. And I was too afraid to do any more work, knowing everything I'd done so far had been such a horrific failure. But now... Now I've changed my mind about all this. I'm going to tell everyone what I've done. It's going to be hard, being honest, believing in myself. I'm sure there will be times where I'll struggle. I'm sure there will be times where I screw up again. But knowing, deep down, that I have friends to fall back on, I know it will be a lot easier to stand on my own. Thank you. Come on, guys. It's time for everyone to go home. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> here's your husband, the goo monster. Entry number eight. I've chosen a candidate. I haven't told Asgore yet, because I want to surprise him with it. In the centre of his garden, there's something special. The first golden flower that grew before all the others. The flower from the outside world. It appeared just before the queen left. I wonder, what happens when something without a soul gains the world to live? The flower's gone. <laughs> I wonder what happens. It left. <laughs> it, it left. <laughs> I don't know where, but it's gone. It's a voice you have never heard before. Stubbs, are you there? It's been a long time, hasn't it? But you've done well. Thanks to you, everything has fallen into place. Stubbs. See you soon. Hey! What do you mean the door's jammed shut with vines? <laughs> so I can just skip this walk if I want. Maybe there'll be um, 
something here that'll just say it, but you never know. Up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down and woo! I can't believe how much this game has sent me through like a million different thoughts already because I thought we beat the game, then I thought we lost the game, but then we didn't, but then we could continue, but then we couldn't. And then we got beat up by Flowey, and now we're here <laughs> doing all this. Like we learnt the secret of Alpha with the souls and determination. Can I go in the renovated room yet? No. Like we learnt the secret of Alpha and determination. We learnt what? What else did we learn? Um, somehow we've been here before, which is very very strange to me. Because I've never played this game before, so how are we already here unless we were the first human? If that makes sense. That's why, um, what's it? Uh, Alphys was saying Asgore shouldn't see the recordings because it was me and Azriel talking about gaining human souls for the ability to... Um, yeah, for the ability to try and save everyone. Is Sans going to repair again? No. But in trying to get the souls, I died. But then in the flowers, something without a soul gains the ability to live, which could be Asriel, technically, because his dust was left on those flowers. Again, this is all speculation. I, I don't have a clue. I'm just going by what the game's telling me. Stubs. It's empty. Imagine if it said it was filled. It's filled. It's like, oh my god, who am I? But again, like even those coffins there shows the massive respect Asgore has for people. Because um, he still buries the children. Even though technically he doesn't have to. Right. Now, this might be the end to everything. So if it truly is, I honestly have enjoyed this journey with all of you. So let's go actually see the end. The real end. Together. This is the barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped underground. If, by chance, you have any unfinished business, please do what you must. I see. Anything you want to do is important enough. Even something as small as reading a book or taking a walk. Please take your time. Okay. If that amounts to nothing, redder. This is it, then. Are you ready? Back into the Asgore fight we go. Strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over. You're filled with determination. Human. It was nice to meet you. Goodbye. Oh shit, fire! <laughs> Bye! <laughs> he wasn't wrong. What a miserable creature touching such poor, innocent youth. Do not be afraid, my child. It is I, Toriel, your friend and guardian. Mum's back! At first I thought I would let you make your journey alone, but I could not stop worrying about you. Your adventure must have been so treacherous, and ultimately, it would burden you with a horrible choice. To leave this place, you would have to take the life of another person. You would have to defeat Asgore. However, I realised, I cannot allow that. It is not right to sacrifice someone, simply to let someone leave here. Is that not what I have been trying to prevent this whole time? So, for now, let us suspend this battle. As terrible as Asgore is, 
he deserves mercy too. Tori, you came back. Do not Tori me, dreamer. You're pf you pathetic whelp. If you really wanted to free our kind, you could have gone through the barrier after you got one soul. Taken six souls from the humans, then come back and f freed everyone peacefully. But instead, you made everyone live in despair. Because you would rather wait here, meekly hoping another human never comes. Tori, you're right. I am a miserable creature. But, do you think we can at least be friends again? <sighs> no, Asgore. Asgore! Human! Nobody fight each other! Everyone's gonna make friends, or else I'll... I'll... Oh, hello, I am Toriel. Are you the human's friend? It is nice to meet you. Uh, yeah? <laughs> nice to meet you. Hey Asgore, is that your Vex? Jeez, that's rough, buddy. Hey, nobody hurt each other. Oh, are you another friend? I am Toriel, hello. Uh, hi. There's two of them? Hey, nobody fight anyone. If anyone fights anyone, then I'll be forced to ask them down for help. <laughs> hello. Oh, hello, your majesty. So, Papyrus knows who she was immediately? Psst. Hey, human. Did Asgore shave and clone himself? Oh, never mind. No, he didn't. Hey, guys, what's up? That voice. Hello. I think we may know each other. Oh, hey, I recognize your voice too. I am Toriel. So nice to meet you. The name's Sans. And, uh, same. Oh, wait then. This must be your brother, Papyrus. Greetings, Papyrus. It's so nice to finally meet you. Your brother has told me so much about you. Wowee! I can't believe Asgore's clone knows who I am. This is the best day of my life. Hey, Papyrus, what does a skeleton tile his roof with? Hmm, snowproof roof tiles? No, silly, a skeleton tiles his roof with shin ghouls. I changed my mind. This is the worst day of my life. Come on, Asgore, it's gonna be okay. There are plenty of fish in the sea. Yeah, Asgore, Undyne's totally right about that fish thing. Sometimes you've just got to, uh, Stop going after furry boss monsters and uh, just get to know a really cute fish. It's a metaphor. Well, I think it's a good analogy. Oh. My. God. Will you two just smooch already? The audience is dying for some romantic action. Hey, shut up. Man, the nerve of that guy. Metaton lives. He lives. <laughs> right, Alphys? Uh, Alphys? No, he's right. Let's do it. Well, uh, I guess if you want to, then. Don't hold anything back. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Wait! Not in front of the human! Uh, right, sorry. I got a little carried away there. <laughs> My child. It seems as you must stay here for a while. But looking at all the great friends you have made, I think, I think you will be happy here. Hey, that reminds me, Papyrus, you called everyone here, right? Well, besides, uh, her. Uh, anyway, if I got here before you, how did you know how to call everyone? Let's just say, a tiny flower helped me. A, a tiny flower? I knew Flower you weren't going to let them get away. You idiots. While you guys were having your little powwow, I took the human souls. And now, not only are those under my power, but all of your friends' souls are going to be mine too. <laughs> and you know what the best part is? It's all your fault. It's all because you made them love you. All the time that you spent listening to them, encouraging them, caring about them. 
Without that, they wouldn't have come here. And now, with their souls and the humans together, I will achieve my real form. <laughs> huh? Why am I still doing this? Don't you get it? This is all just a game. If you leave the underground satisfied, you'll win the game. If you win, you won't want to play with me anymore. And what would I do then? But this game between us will never end. I'll hold victory in front of you, just within your reach. And then tear it away just before you grasp it. Over and over and over. <laughs> Listen. If you do defeat me, I'll give you your happy ending. I'll bring your friends back. I'll destroy the barrier. Everyone will finally be satisfied. But that won't happen. You. I'll keep you here no matter what. Oh, cool. Even if it means killing you one million times. Ow! Ow! <laughs> Ow! He's gonna do the slow kill again, god damn it! Yeah! What? Do not be afraid, my child. No matter what happens, we will always be there to protect you. That's right, human. You can win. Just do what I would do. Believe in you. Hey, human. If you got past me, you can do anything. So don't worry. We're with you all the way. You haven't beaten this guy yet? Come on. This weirdo's got nothing on you. Technically, it's impossible for you to beat him. But somehow, I know you can do it. Human. For the future of humans and monsters. You have to stay determined. We're with you too! Come on, you got this! Oh! Monster Boy's back! Uh, there's the Spider Girl as well. No! Unbelievable! We've even got the frog, the dogs, uh, the knight, the bow knight. This can't be happening! You! You! I can't believe you're all so... Stupid. All of your souls are mine! <laughs>